What if there was a man? A man who could explain three facts about Mars to you people. Well, there is. Presley, take it away. Mars was the god of war. He thought the only way to gain peace was through war. And he was also an agricultural guardian. He protected the harvest from evil spirits. He was known as Ares in Greek mythology. After the Romans conquered Greece, they incorporated Mars into their own religion. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for um, uh, Monotone Presley. Uh, Brad Presley, you know, you're pretty cool. So, uh, I'm just gonna show you this clip of uh, me chasing this rabbit around for a bit. Um, and, yeah, I guess I'll sing you guys a little song. In the arms of an angel. Alright, let's just cut to Garrett. Garrett, you ready? Heck yeah, I'm ready. Alright. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and, uh, call up, uh, you know, you know our boy, uh, Garrett here, right? Mm. Yes? Garrett. What's up? You ready to do the project? Uh, yeah, give me, like, ten minutes. Bro. Alright. One hour later. Yep. How did Mars come to be, Gary? Alright, bet I got it. Alright. Go when you're ready. Alright. So this is how Mars came to be. So there was a standoff, right? Yeah. And, you know, one guy was like, Hey, my guy's better than your guy. And, like, my guy hits the weight room. It's like... Nah, bro. I promise. Like, who do you know, bro? Like, oh, I know Mars. Like, oh, who's that? Yeah, uh, you know that boy Mars, uh, you know, he's been finding wars and stuff. Like, he's he been in the weight room. Like, he will beat you up, you know what I'm saying? Like, so then, my guy Mars, over here, he about to just fight, he about to fight this dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, so he fights him, right? Yeah. And he uses all these weapons. And so they're like, hey man, like, like that's not fair. How'd you do that? He's like, oh, I'm, I'm the god of war. I do what I want, you know? And he's like, he's like, oh, okay. Like, well, that's not fair. So basically, Mars is the greatest thing ever. And Mars is stronger than you. And he's been in the weight room. I promise. So our boy Garrett... Did a really good job, but uh, he missed a couple of things. So, Mars was considered the father of Romulus and Remus. They were like these two like founders of Rome and stuff. They were like crazy cool. But uh, according to stories, their uh, mother, Westal Virgin Rhea Silvia, was uh, you know, uh, eh, raped by Mars while she slept. Not such a not such a broad thing to do if I say so myself, but uh, yeah. Then she dropped a hairpin into the ground in which sprang tre these two trees that over time took over, shaded the entire world, kind of simulating the uh, prediction of the Roman Empire. Um, well, I don't think you'd believe it, but it seems I've run out of gameplay to put in the background for a great god mars so uh you know i yeah I, yeah <laughs> here you go mars was important to rome because it was like a military religion military followed mars as if he was like a great mighty warrior who would always lead him to victory in battle. He was also the guard of the Roman walls. People thought they could sleep safe at night because Mars was just watching over the walls. Oh, 
barbarians are coming in to destroy what's left of Rome. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Mars has got it. Mars has got it all. We don't even need to do anything. Bye, Romans. Bye. I spent a lot of time on this video for the Latin fam and really, 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 really appreciate it if you would look up my channel and go ahead and subscribe and, uh, you know, join in some of my uh, YouTube live streams. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me, guys. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Deja vu, I just been